Hello everyone, in this video, I'm going to show how to sketch the graph for the reciprocal situation. So given k is equals to 1 over 3x. Step number one, I'm going to determine the domain. So as we all know, for the denominator, we are not allowed to equate to 0. So in order to find the domain, 3x cannot be equals to 0. So x cannot be equals to 0. So the domain would be negative infinity until 0, where 0 is not included, union 0 until positive infinity. Step number 2, identify the asymptote. The asymptote will be x equals to 0. Step number 3, the direction. By referring to the coefficient of x, if the direction is positive, then the graph will be towards the right. If the graph is negative, the situation will be towards the left. So for this case, the x is a positive. So now I'm going to sketch the graph. So by referring to the domain, x equals to 0 is the asymptote. So here will be the location of x equals to 0. So at the same time, do remember y equals to 0 also as asymptote. So by referring to the direction, it is a positive. So our graph will be like this. So based on the diagram or the graph, we have to determine the range. So the range for this case will be start from minimum negative infinity until this part, 0, union, 0, until positive infinity. So step number one is to find the domain. As we all know, for the denominator, we are not allowed to equate to zero. So for this case, one minus two x cannot be equals to zero. So x cannot be equals to one over two. So from here, the domain will be negative infinity until one over two, union one over two until infinity, where 1 over 2 is not included. So from here, x cannot be equal to negative 1 over 2. So it is a asymptote. So x will be equal to 1 over 2. Step number 3, we have to define or to find or determine the direction. So if the situation or the coefficient of x is positive, so our graph will be towards the right. So this will be the situation. If the coefficient is negative, our graph will be towards the left. So for this case, it is a negative. So towards the left. So next, I'm going to sketch the graph. So given that 1 over 2 is an asymptote, so meaning that the graph cannot pass by or cut the asymptote. So another asymptote will be y equals to 0. So the graph towards the left it will be like this. So here we have the intersection point. So in order to determine the intersection point, when x is equals to 0, y will be equals to 1. So we will have the point 0, 1. Next, we have to identify the range. Based on the diagram, the range from the negative infinity until 0, where 0 is not included, union 
start from zero until positive infinity when zero is not included so here we are and thanks for watching